Hey LearnDash fans, it's Dave here from LDX Design, and I want to go through LearnDash login and logout redirects. So this is a very common thing that comes up with a lot of new folks who are using LearnDash and are trying to figure out how to navigate where people go when they log in and where people go when they log out. There's a handful of different scenarios that can happen. You can be using LearnDash's login pop-up. You might be using a login customizer plugin of some kind that actually uses WordPress's default login page, but allows you to customize the look and feel of it. Um, you might also be using WooCommerce, and we'll cover that in a separate video if you're using WooCommerce and their My Account page and their login stuff. We'll cover that separately, but this is mainly for people who are using the default LearnDash pop-up for login um, or using a login customizer and using basically WordPress's default login. So we'll go through a couple different options that you can use for redirecting people to the right page when they log in and when they log out. So let's take a look at what happens by default with no plugins added when people log into the site. So here's a testing learn dash site I have set up. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the URL and I'm gonna do wp-login.php. And I'm gonna do that because this is the default WordPress login page. Um, even if you don't have learn dash installed, this is available. Um, if you're an admin and you log in, this is technically the page you use to log in to the back end of your site. If you're using some login customizer plugins, there's a handful of different ones out there. A lot of them will use this page, so they'll be using wp-login.php, but they just allow you to customize it. So yours will look very different because you've customized it with that plugin, but the functionality essentially still uses the same URL up here and still uses this page. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna log in, and I'm using a subscriber account, so this is not an admin account, just so this is gonna mimic what your users are going to see and their experience on your site. So I'm gonna log in as a subscriber, which is technically the name um, of the role that is given to those users on your site who sign up for your LearnDash courses and can log into your site. And I'm gonna log in and show you what happens. So when I log in here from the WP-login page, I end up here on this profile page. This is in the WordPress admin area. Um, it's the default functionality for WordPress when people log in, they wanna send you to the admin area. Now, for subscribers in WordPress, all they have is they can see a dashboard with pretty much nothing on it, and they can look at a profile, which gives them a few options. They can actually edit their profile in here, but obviously you don't want people going to this page when they log in. Uh, it's not a great experience at all. You want them staying on the front end of your website, um, so we don't want this to happen. So I'm going to log out here, and now I'm going to show you what happens if I am on the website. Um, so here I am on the home page, and I've added a login option here in the menu. Now, I've added this using the um, default LearnDash methodology for how to add the LearnDash uh, login pop-up to a menu. So I'll cover that in another video as well. Um, but this is using the default LearnDash way of logging in. So when I click this, I will get a pop-up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to navigate to the About page. The reason I'm doing this, uh, it'll make sense in a second. But now I'll click login. Note that I'm on the about page. I click login, I get this pop-up. So I'm still on the about page. I haven't gone to another page. I just have this new pop-up. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna log in as a user and let's see what happens. You'll notice it redirects me to the same page I was just on. So I was on the about page when I clicked login. Now I am still on the about page when I logged in. Um, but now that login has changed to log out. So LearnDash handles this automatically for us. Um, now, if I log out, notice how it will log me out and just keep me on the very same page. So if you're using this method and you've got something in the menu and you have the LearnDash pop-up, the default actions are for login and for log out, it keeps you on whatever page you are on. So if I was on the home page and I clicked log in, and got that pop-up and logged in, I would remain on the home page. And then same thing, whatever page you're on when you click that logout link, that's the page you will be sent to again um, after you've logged out. So that's the default functionality. Now obviously, it can be advantageous to send people to specific pages when they log in and when they log out. Obviously more important for when they log in, you wanna customize that experience, you wanna get them into learning as soon as possible, so you wanna send them to a specific page. Um, the one thing I will say, I won't cover this in depth in this video, but the page that you send them to when they log in is really completely up to you. It could be different depending on the types of courses you offer, your audience, how you've set your site up, what other plugins you might be using. It's going to be unique 
and it will most likely be a page that you yourself have created or that was created by another plugin. So LearnDash doesn't, out of the box, doesn't give you a My Account page or anything to send people to. You will need to create that. You will need to put some blocks or short codes on that page um, to output some content that you want your users to see. And you'll use that URL of that custom page you've created. That's what, where you'll send people when they log in. Log out. A um, couple different options for where you want to send somebody when they log out. Some people like to send people to the home page. Um, that can be a little confusing because there isn't a message that confirms that they were logged out on the home page. Uh, so what you could do instead is send them to some kind of my account page that has a login on it or a specific page you've created that has a button where they can log in again. Um, maybe even create a logout specific page that uh, has a login button and gives them just a message that says, hey, you've been logged out. A lot of different ways to handle that. We're not going to go in depth on that. So let me jump into what you guys are really here for now. You want to know um, how to handle these login and logout redirects. So I'm going to cover two different methods. The first one's going to be a pretty simple method. The second one will give you a few additional options uh, if you have a more complex setup, especially those that are using the group leader role and are using groups pretty heavily, or if you have uh, people that are logging in and accessing uh, some of your LearnDash content and they're not administrators, the second option uh, will help you out with that. So what I'm going to do is here I've jumped into the admin area of this LearnDash site. And the first option is going to use the free plugin called the Uncanny Toolkit for LearnDash. Now there's a free and a pro version of this plugin. Uh, the free version has a whole bunch of modules that we can use. The pro version adds a bunch more on top of that that are even more advanced. Um, this one for the login and logout redirects that we're going to use, that's available in the free version. So that's all you need for this. Once you've installed and activated the Uncanny Toolkit for LearnDash plugin, you'll have a new Uncanny Toolkit option down here in your WordPress menu. And the first option here will send you to a list of all the modules. So you can think of these as like individual little plugins by themselves, and you can turn them on or off. That way, if you don't want to use them, you can simply disable them here with a simple toggle. So over here, you'll see Login, Logout, Redirects. This is the module that we're going to use for this uh, feature here. It's off by default, so the first thing we have to do is just click that to toggle it on. It'll turn green. Next, we have to click this Settings button because this will open up the few settings that we need to tell it where to send people for logging in and when they log out. So the Login Redirect is the page they'll go to after they log in. I've set this up to a My Account page that I have. And then the Logout Redirect is going to just go to the All Courses page. Um, just for example purposes, I'm not recommending that, just showing you guys how this works. You can leave the redirect priority to what it is. Um, you don't need to put anything in there. As long as this is the only plugin you're using to redirect people on login and log out, it'll work. You can run into issues if you're using multiple plugins that are all trying to impact the login um, redirect stuff. That can be an issue, but as long as it's the only one you're using, just don't bother putting anything in this priority. It'll be fine the way it is. So once you've added your login and log out redirects, you can go ahead and click Save. I will also note, you don't have to put anything in here um, for the logout if you don't want to. It'll just default to um, the, what the default feature is there of, of WordPress. Most likely, it will keep them on the same page, I believe, if you don't put anything in here for logout. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we can close it. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to refresh this site. So I'm logged out. This is a different browser window, so I'm not logged in anymore. The one important thing to know about the Uncanny Toolkit redirect is it works on every single role except for administrators. So if you're an administrator that has access to everything in your WordPress site and can manage the whole entire thing, then you will still, when you log in, um, if you log in from wp-login.php, you will go to the admin area still, just like you used to. So that won't change for the administrator role. But essentially every other role, uh, subscribers, which is what the default role is for LearnDash users who buy courses and sign up for things. Um, if you're using WooCommerce and people are labeled as a customer instead of a subscriber, this will work for them. It'll also work for group leaders, editors, contributors, every other WordPress role that exists. This redirect will apply to them. Um, so the second option I'll show you is great if you have group leaders that you want to send somewhere else. But just know this one is going to work for everything except for administrators. Okay, so here we are once again on the About page. Um, actually, let me do the WP login first to show you that one. 
So this is, uh, if you're not using LearnDash's login pop-up, you're using some login customizer. We'll come here to the wp-login.php again. We'll log in. Now we should go to that My Account page that I had just set up. Here we go. And boom, My Account dash two, forget that URL. Um, hopefully your URL doesn't have a dash two in it. It's just My Account. But here we are on this page. Um, this is exactly what we wanted. Now, uh, I'm going to come up here and click Log Out, and we put this All Courses page as the logout redirect. So when I click the Log Out button, boom, takes me to All Courses. So that's working exactly as we wanted it to. Fantastic. Now let's take a look at the second option if you're using the Learn Dash login pop-up. So I'll go ahead and stay here on the All Courses page, and I'll click Log In. I get the pop-up. I do the subscriber and my password and log in, and I should get sent to the My Account page. Awesome. Uh, same thing, log out, same exact thing. It's going to take me back to all courses. So that's working exactly as we want it to. So that's the Uncanny Toolkit for LearnDash login logout module. Probably the very simplest way, if you're just looking for the easiest option, I would go with this one. Um, now let's, uh, I'll switch screens real quick, and I will enable a different plugin and show you option number two. All right, so this is gonna walk through option two. This one is a lot more flexible. And if you have group leaders especially, this could be really helpful. Or if you even wanna redirect specific users to certain places, you can do that as well. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that in the Uncanny Toolkit, we have deactivated the login logout redirects. So we wanna make sure we turn this off. If this is running and our second option is also running, there's gonna be some conflicts with who's gonna win out and you're gonna see some weird behavior. So it's uh, make sure you turn off the login logout redirects if you were previously using that. Um, now we're gonna use a different option. This one's called login WP. So that is the name of the plugin. It was formerly called Peter's login redirect. So you may already be using it or you may just see this new name. That's what it used to be called. Now it's called login WP. So we come here to the menu and we're gonna go to redirections. Now I've set three of these up already. Um, I'll briefly explain them and then just show you how to set up a new one. So what we've got here for these three redirection rules, so you can add as many rules as you'd like. Um, there is a pro version to this plugin as well, but I do wanna mention that what we're doing here just requires the free version. There's a ton of other features as you can see here when you upgrade to pro, it integrates with a ton of different things. It does say, oh, it integrates with LearnDash, but there's really, there are some additional features with that, I'm sure, but you don't really need it for most LearnDash setups. Um, the free version is fine. So here I've got three different rules. You'll see there's a condition and a condition value. So what I've done is I've said, I want user roles that are set to administrator to be redirected to this page for when they log in and this page when they log out. Essentially always sending administrators to the admin area whenever they log in from any page. And then when they log out, send them, try to send them back to the admin area. This will actually show them the login screen. Um, if you're a subscriber, which is what most of your users will be, um, they will go to the My Account page, and then when they log out, let's send them to the actual wp-login.php. So if you're using a custom login page, you could send them back to that login page by putting this here. And then group leaders, this is uh, the power of this plugin over the Uncanny Toolkit, is that you can send your group leaders to a specific place. So I just put in uh, this URL called group admin page. It doesn't really exist, so it'll show a 404 error message, but um, you would, if you had a group admin page, especially, for example, if you're using the Uncanny Groups plugin, then, um, and you had a bunch of administrative stuff for your group leaders on there, um, or if you're using the Tin Canny Reporting plugin and you had your groups be able to see different reports um, for, your, for their specific users that are in their group, you'd create a, a group admin page in your site, you'd put a block or a short code on there, and then you'd be able to send your group leaders there when they log in, and then we're just going to send them to the same login screen when they log out. So the way you set these up is you go to redirection rules, you click add new. And the first option is selecting condition. So all of mine were user role conditions. And I chose you know, administrator for that, that rule. I chose group leader for my second rule and then subscriber there for my third rule. Um, you might also need to choose customer as well if you're using WooCommerce. Uh, when people buy something on WooCommerce, WooCommerce gives them the role of customer, so you may need to add another rule for your customers. Um, and then you simply just put your login URL in here and your logout URL there, and then save your rule. I did mention 
you can do a specific person and send them somewhere based on login logout. So if you choose username for the, the condition, and then over here, you can choose a specific user based on their username and have them go to a certain place based on login logout. The final thing I'll mention with the setup for this plugin is there's one general option down here for all other users. So um, this is helpful if you've got WooCommerce, for example, you may not want to create that additional rule for a customer and a subscriber. Um, you really technically don't even need this one subscriber rule. You could just set up the administrator and the group leader and then say all other users do this. So this is the fallback for everything else if a rule doesn't exist for them. So I've just done the fallback to match exactly what I have for my subscribers. So technically I could delete this subscriber rule and this fallback would kick in and everything would be fine. So um, that's how that works here. I would recommend doing this um, and then just add the rules that you need uh, if this doesn't cover your, your use case. So now let's take a look at our site and just make sure everything is working as it should. So first let's go to the wp-login.php page and let's try to log in as a subscriber and we should get sent to the My Account page. Beautiful. And now this time when we log out, instead of going to all courses like we did with the Uncanny Toolkit, uh, when we click log out, we've set this to go up back to the login page. And there we are, back to the login page. Awesome. Now let me just go ahead and do um, my group leader username is just called editor. So this is a group leader example. So when I do this, I should be sent to that group admin page I created, which doesn't really exist. So I'll just see a 404. But you would have a black or a short code or some kind of thing on this group admin page. But you can see up here, group admin page, that's where it sent me. Uh, and then log out should go back to that login page again. Beautiful. So that's working great. And now let me go to, uh, let's go to the about page again, just to prove that it's not going to redirect us back to the about page. So now when I log in, if I'm a subscriber, oops, I should spell subscriber correctly. There we go. Go to the my account page. Wonderful. Log out, go back to the login screen. Now, if you're using the learn dash method, you wouldn't want to send them back to this login page. You'd only want to send them here if you're using a login customizer plugin of some kind that, um, that customizes that and uses that as your login page. The final thing here is um, for administrators, the default behavior, if you log in using this pop-up and you're an administrator, the default behavior just keeps you on this same page. Um, and Uncanny's toolkit doesn't work with administrators. It excludes that role, so you're still gonna get just refreshed to this page. But if you're an administrator and you're on the front end of your site and you happen to be logged out and you wanna log in, if you always wanna go to the, the WordPress admin area, then if you've set that rule up, like I just showed you, for all administrators to always go to the admin, um, let's see, here we are on the front end. This username is an admin, so when I log in, boom, I get sent right to my admin area so I can start administering my site. So that is the login WP plugin version formerly known as Peter's Login Redirect. So I really hope this was helpful. I hope this um, helped get your mind around the different login scenarios. Like I said, there is an additional one for WooCommerce, which I'll create another video for, but for, for a lot of people that are using this learn dash pop-up for logins, hopefully this really helps you send your users to the right place. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.